Get your hands ready to wave and we'll sing our song, Hello Everybody. Can you do your thumbs up or your A-okay? I know you can. ready. We'll start out medium fast. Clap, clap, clap. Swish, swish, swish. Roll, roll, roll. And tickle, tickle, tickle. That was good. And I bet you can do it faster. Let's do it faster. Clap, clap, clap. Swish, swish, swish. Roll, roll, roll. And tickle, tickle, tickle. All right. Nicely done. And how shall we do it next? Shall we do the super sneaky quiet clapping? I think that's everybody's favorite. Let's try it. Yay! I knew you could do it. You guys have been practicing so much. Are you ready to do Open, shut them, open, shut them, give a little clap, clap, clap. And you remember the creepy crawl and goes down to your knees. A little tap, tap, tap. Let's sing together. ready with your hands and then think about reading your story. You can make any story up when you're reading your story, your pretend story. This is the way we read our books. Read our books. Read our books. This is the way we read our books so early in the morning. Hello story timers. How are you today? Well, I'm good. This is Miss Cindy here. And I wonder, what have you been doing? Have you been moving around, doing different things? Have you been taking your dog for a walk? If you don't have a dog, maybe you've just been walking around your block. Well, our story today is called A Hop is Up by Christy Dempsey. And it's about a little boy who takes his dog for a walk and has all kinds of adventures. Let's see what happens when he takes his dog for a walk. A hop is up. There's his dog. And here's the little boy coming out of his house, getting ready to go on a walk. A hop is up. His dog is hopped up on the fence. He wants to see what that lady's doing. Can you hop? I know you can. A bend is down. 
Oh, now I see. I don't know if he wanted to see that lady, but he sure wanted to see that cat. Dogs like to chase cats. Can you bend down? A spin is around and around and around. Look at all those bicycles. Maybe you've been riding your bike. The wheels go round and around and around when you ride your bicycle. A jump is over from here to there. Can you do a big jump from here to there? That's what he's doing. A leap repeats when there's a pair. A pair means two. Two dancers leaping. Maybe you can leap like those dancers are doing. A march is right, left, right, left, right. That's right. When we march, we say right, left, right, left, right, left. And we're talking about our feet. First we move our right foot, then we move our left foot. They're marching in a parade. The dog is watching them. A jigs, a wiggly, giggly sight. Well, here are some clowns in that parade and they're kind of dancing. They're dancing a jig, which means they kind of jump up and down. Where's our dog? Oh, I see him up at the top. I hope you see him too. A slips, a slide, a slides, a slip. Oh, the dog is running and the little boy is trying to catch him, but he slipped on that ball and he fell down, I think. A boing, boing, boing is a skip, skip, skip. Yes, that ball is bouncing. Boing, 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 boing. He's having to run fast to catch that ball. A swing is up and out and then back and up and out again. Oh wow, they're having fun on the swings, aren't they? I love to swing. Swings are fun. The dog's waiting for them to finish swinging. A walk is amble, ramble, slow. Yes, those ducks are walking across the street. Amble, ramble, slow. And the cars are waiting for them. Oh, wow, look at that picture. What does the dog see again? Does he see the cat in the basket? Oh yes, and he wants to run after the cat. A race is a run, so go, go, go. Oh, the lady and the boy are running after the dog and the cat. I don't know who's gonna win that race. A finish is an end. A pause is a wait. So the dog is running up the steps to his house and the cat is running over to his house, which is next door. Everybody's going home. It's the end of the walk. A rest is a stop. They got inside and they had to rest because they had been running so fast. They sat down by the door but a hop, now they're going upstairs, is up. Upstairs on his bed, he wants to read a book, the boy does. And who wants to listen to that book? I think the dog does, he's jumping up on the bed. He wants to hear the story the boy's going to read. Wow, they had quite an adventure on their walk. And I hope you have an adventure today. We'll see you next time, bye bye. How many shoes do you have to put on your feet? One, two.
Okay, Cindy's back again. Did you have fun singing with Miss K about the shoes? I like that song about the two shoes and we walk down the street. Thanks for watching Storytime at Home today and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.